Burning the rubbish calms the soul. Send the sin to the sky. Have some respect. You hated her. Respect is acquired of the dead regardless. Up to a point, don't you think? Not now. What? At what point does a body turn from something to be respected to compost? No time for pedantic philosophical quarrels. We have work to do. I'll divert any attention away from here. Good. We will eradicate this. Will we? We will. Your bloody mess. And now yours. Quit your belly aching. We need to discuss your anger and issues. I don't have any issues. You're a deaf terrier. I am optimal. Once you're off, there's no reining you back. I am not a horse or dog. You are mixing your metaphors. You've got a complex. I do not. Check yourself. I have performed a full analysis and I am happy to report that I am in fine form. Tell that to this poor lump of charred carbon. It was an appropriate response. Waterboarding and decapitation is not an appropriate response. It yielded the desired result. To what? She put mustard on your baguette. Mustard does not belong on a baguette. I hate that vinegar-filled abscess. You need a therapist. More ears? We have enough of them in the walls and trees. Wrap it up, there's a bus full of tourists coming. Shit. We are nearly there, just delay them as much as possible. I'll do my Bonnie Tyler impression. Oh god. Surely that's enough. We need to cover the earth with vegetation. It's enough, it's covered. What more do you want? There's a car-sized rectangle of brown earth here. People are going to know something is buried. Get some grass and branches. You owe me. Yes, yes. I needed to go. We need to go now. I could only hold him off for so long. Why are you pissing? I have to go. Stop it. You're leaving evidence. <laughs> evidence? Isn't that what is said in these situations? What kind of evidence? Well, yes, I suppose. A horde of unfit westerners in North Face jackets are approaching with their trigger-happy cameras. Let's not hang around here. You're losing it. I'm tired. I'm going to listen to the whales. You're... Gone. You're gone. Great. What the hell is going on? You're agitated. Yes, I am. Recenter yourself. Reset. <sighs> Good call. <sighs> Better? Better. What happened? I don't know. I was sculpting goat figures on the beach when I got the call. I arrived to find her carcass in a bloody water pit. The deed had been done. And it had taken some time. She died slow, like hours. It makes no sense. All that over mustard on a baguette. You don't believe that. <sighs> there has been increased irrational hostility lately. Psychotic break, more like. There was always a penchant for savagery. Not like this. It was always calculated. It always served a goal. Now it's... Arbitrary. I fear you might be right. How do we proceed? We monitor for now. We document these episodes and try to establish a root cause. Agreed. I need you to be vigilant to everything, no matter how small or insignificant. The more data, the better. These are sensitive times. They are indeed. I shall keep every information sensing orifice open and alert. Mm, don't be disgusting. I shall monitor from afar. Soothing, isn't it? Yes. Until you listen to what they are actually saying. Why? What are the whales saying? Gossip. Apparently there is a blue whale near Iceland that has been satisfying a number of the females around the Greenland area. A roving milkman, as it were. It kind of takes the sereneness out of it. So? Rattled, but oblivious. There is a question on your motives. The mustard excuse was a bit thin. We are monitoring you now and recording your outbursts. To be expected. She didn't say much. I don't want to know. Really? It's none of my business. I just came across her raving about a whirlpool creature and mentioned your name. That's all I know. That's all I want to know. 
She never mentioned that during the interrogation. She was quite incoherent. I don't think she fully understood what she was saying. Why did you contact me if you don't care? I don't want to get involved with your mischievous philandering. Whatever you may have done, whoever you may have pissed off, I don't care. I just want it dealt with so we can move on. Do you? Yes. What are your motives? Longevity. <laughs> Perhaps a good word can be put in for promotion next time around. <laughs> I knew you weren't purely altruistic. Are you blackmailing me? I would never be so foolish. I'm demonstrating my utility. I didn't take you for a career hound. I'm not. Mm-hmm. Be assured, your utility will not go unnoticed. Thank you. I am done now. I shall go about my own business. You pompous bollocks. Am I dismissed now? What arrogance. My cat's paw has revealed much to me through her death at your hands. There is a beast in the southern sea. That is the source of this latest flare-up. Your excessive methods of torture and concealment betray your fragility. You're a gas canister with a pinhole leak. I hear that small whistle. You're scrambling to keep your shadows in the dark. But I will bring the flame, alighting your sins. Gut stick. Sporadic splintering. Rustling red and oranges. Crunching bones under teeth. Death by a thousand cuts too simple. Dancing leaves, a wind that tickles my cheeks. I shall fill you up with milk and honey till it seeps out of your pores, then cast you into a clay bed of hungry ants and float you out to sea. Longevity. Hungry flesh, tasty vessel. Sunlight. Burning charcoal. That smell. The curse. The curse of longevity. Pitless, translucent worm, master of decay. Freshly cut grass. I salt you, corrode you. The humped green country valley torn. You've cursed me to this barren state. Break you on the wheel, burn you on the pyre, choke you on the cross, flay your skin with a skillet, flake your open flesh with salt and lemon like a juicy red salmon, savoring your agonizing screams. Eat your babies, break your legacy, raise you up and grind you down to powder.